so today we're going to be talking about the Xbox One controller you see here. So I've been using this particular controller for about four months now. And today we're going to be talking about the controller, its practicality for PC gaming, and also should you buy the play and charge kit. So let's get started with the play and the controller itself. So the controller itself is very sturdy. Well, I really like these triggers. They feel really nice. I'm going to zoom in on those for you. Is it too much? There you go. I don't know if you can see, but they're labeled. This one I'm going to have to zoom in. Yep. So, you can pick up this controller with the PC kit for $47 on Amazon or $63 on Amazon but it comes with the wireless dongle for PC. I really like this controller for pretty much all kinds of gaming so I think it's worth it. If I had to have one big complaint it would probably be that it sometimes doesn't sync up to your console the way, but that is very rare. <clears throat> so now we're going to talk about the play and charge kit. As you can see, I'm getting it out of the controller. I'm going to remove the controller. So, this is the battery itself. As you can see, it has two contacts here, none, none on the other side, and it has this little chip right here that you can that we, I I don't know I'm not sure what the chip does I'm pretty sure it tells the console how much battery it has I'm going to do back to normal so for $25 it comes with the battery and a 10 foot charging cable that, that feels really good. And the way you install it is that you need to put your controller like this in the orientation that I'm doing it and you want to put the battery in the orientation doing it and making, I'm um, showing you, and making sure that the, the contacts face towards the left as you can see. And then you want to put sorry, the contacts in first like this and then press down on the back. You should hear it click and then you want to put your battery cover on by simply sliding it on. And then as you can see that when you press the button the light blinks in a nice color. It might be look with light on the camera, right? But in real, in person, it doesn't really bother me that much. So if you pick up one of these controllers, I recommend that you pick up the Play and Charge Kit for it for an extra twenty five dollars. Or you can buy the controller with the play and charge kit that I, ha I have over here. To stay in the box. And this is what I did. This cost $75. So, if I were you, I I would probably buy the controller and the play and charge kit separately because it's cheaper that way. 
so yeah, do I recommend the Xbox One controller? Yes. And a lot, this is a big misconception for a lot of people. The Xbox One controller that comes with your console, if you plug it in through micro USB, it will work with PC. So, yeah, that's all for this video. Yes, I recommend the Xbox One controller. Please like, comment, and subscribe to me. Uh, and I'll see you.